This ministry content is brought to you by the partners of Terry Savelle Foy Ministries. See, so many people say, don't just sit there, do something. I always say, don't just do something. Sit there alone and think and ask yourself questions. Getting alone was the best advice I've ever received. Hey, I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. I want to share with you the best advice I've ever gotten on the power of silence and share three habits successful people practice in silence behind closed doors. And I have a big announcement for you this week. My brand new book, The Alone Advantage, releases this week. Now, this is a huge dream come true where I share the 10 behind the scenes habits that drive crazy success. I'll tell you about it later, but I want to share three of those habits today. Do you remember the story I told on a previous podcast about Kobe Bryant? How he was known for outworking everybody else in the off season. And a guy named Alan Stein was watching him practice one day. Keep in mind, Kobe Bryant was already at the top of his field, multimillionaire, headed to the NBA Hall of Fame, MVP. And this is during the off season. Kobe would arrive at 3.30 in the morning so he could start by 4 a.m. So Alan's watching him and he was just shocked at the simplicity of what he was doing. He spent the first 30 minutes without even having a ball in his hands and his workout lasted a couple hours. Well, at the end of his workout, Alan went up to him. He said, Kobe, I don't get it. He said, you're the best player in the world. Why are you doing such basic drills? He said, Kobe smiled real big. He winked and he said in a real serious tone, why do you think I'm the best player in the world? He went on to say, it's because I never get bored with the basics. I never get bored with the basics. Alan said that changed his life. He said, ever since that day, that's become my core philosophy for life. Never get bored with the basics and mastering the fundamentals during the unseen hours. If you want to know God's purpose and direction for your life, it starts by giving him, I'm going to tell you two things, giving him a little time and giving him your ear during the unseen hours. These are the basics that drive crazy success. I don't know if you've heard my story of how years ago when my husband Rodney and I separated on the verge of divorce, we were in debt, no money in our savings account, living paycheck to paycheck. I had no dreams or goals for my life. I was in a rut for 11 years. Well, my dad, who was my boss at the time, he asked me to work from home temporarily. While I was going through that separation from my husband and just a mess, he asked me to work from home alone. But when he said the words, I want you to work from home alone, I hated being alone. And especially at that time in my life. But God was setting me up. And I believe he's speaking to you right now through this story. I found out firsthand that growth success, transformation in any area of your life. It happens in private behind closed doors in the unseen hours. Well, this is what was missing in my life when everything was falling apart. I had never practiced the art of doing nothing. I couldn't remember the last time I just sat still and listened for that still small voice or even listened to my own thoughts. I began to ask myself vital questions. In fact, I put a list of these questions in part one of the new book. But see, so many people say, don't just sit there, do something. I always say, don't just do something. Sit there alone and think and ask yourself questions. Getting alone was the best advice I've ever received. This is habit number one I'm sharing quickly today. That was over 20 years ago, and I've never stopped this routine of investing time to just sit alone and listen up for God's voice. This advice and these 10 habits have led to God restoring my marriage 32 years together, debts paid off with money in the bank, launching an organization, writing 15 books, having this YouTube channel, speaking at some of the biggest conferences in the world, purchasing office offices and hiring teams of people, and having the opportunity to write this long awaited book to tell you about the advantage successful people know about and I give God all the glory. See, people are rewarded in public for what they practice in private. What you do when nobody's watching is how you find yourself. You discover your purpose, your dreams. You start hearing from God, which prepares you for success. That's why I call it the alone advantage. So in habit number one, I'm gonna show you 
how to never get bored with the basics of spending time with God to listen up and hear his unique direction for your life. You're going to want a do not disturb sign immediately. Now, another alone advantage habit that I want to reveal. I want to give you two more habits today, but before I do, I want to get my brand new book, The Alone Advantage, into your hands. It releases this week. Now, I reveal nine other behind the scenes habits that successful people practice. So all you need to do is click the link in the description and order from your favorite store or go to the aloneadvantage.com and you'll get it this week. So grateful, but I want to do something special during launch week of the new book. So here's what I'd like to do. When you click the link in the description and get your copy of my brand new book today, take a screenshot of your order and post it to your Instagram story. Now tag me in it so I can find you and I'll be looking at every single one. But I'm gonna choose three winners to send my dream routine planner to. Now these sell for $49, but this is gonna help you write your dreams plan your days. And in my book, I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. This is going to provide so much direction for your life. And of course I signed them. So order your copy of the new book, go to the aloneadvantage.com or click the link in the description, screenshot your order, post it to your story and tag me in it. I'm going to choose three winners today. And that's just a way of saying, thank you for helping me celebrate this big dream come true in my life. It's the biggest book deal I've ever done and the book I'm most proud of. And I know the publisher is watching to see if it reaches a lot of people this week. So thank you for believing in me and supporting my dream of cheering you on through books. Okay, the second one, it's actually part nine of my new book and I call it Step Up. We discussed Listen Up, but this is Step Up. What does that mean? This is the alone advantage that leads to unprecedented opportunities. See, what if God only blessed what you were prepared for? Let me give you an example. I heard Steve Harvey talk about how years ago, he was at a comedy club in the audience and the final act canceled. They were just a no-show. Well, someone approached Steve and asked if he was ready to perform. And Steve said, no, I've never practiced anything. And nobody's ever heard of Steve Harvey. No, he was ready. He got up and performed a routine he had practiced over and over behind the scenes, not knowing if he'd ever get to perform it in front of a crowd. He won the contest, made $50, cried all the way home, quit his job the next day and became one of the greatest comedians of all time. Well, Coach John Wooden said, when opportunity comes, it's too late to prepare. Which opportunity do you need to start getting ready for behind closed doors. What do you need to start preparing that looks so foolish and ridiculous to everybody around you? But God is saying, when I know you're ready, get ready. Because preparation time is never wasted time. You know, I think about this YouTube channel. I started this, I felt so unprepared, unqualified and scared. And I looked it. I had 22 views a day the whole first year but I kept filming week after week after week after week, practicing in front of the camera, getting a little more comfortable with each video. And I remember the day I was at Lakewood Church, Joel Osteen's, and I'm just attending the service. Well, at the end of the meeting, the TV crew came up to me and said, we want you to close out Joel Osteen's service on Sirius XM. What? Millions of viewers are watching, but you know what? I was ready. I'd been filming week after week after week. What am I saying? I'm not saying I did a great job, but I'm saying preparation time is never wasted time. Start doing something to prepare for the dreams in your heart. Zig Ziglar said, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. You're going to love reading story after story of successful people who got ready behind the scenes. Like a basketball great, Larry Bird. He would shoot 500 free throw shots every morning before he even went to class. Actor Jim Carrey would sit in front of a mirror, contorting his face for hours, just perfecting his skills. Winston Churchill, one of the greatest orators, he practiced his speeches compulsively behind the scenes. What am I saying? People are rewarded in public for what they practice in private. So it's time to step up and prepare. And when God knows you're ready, get ready. 
because when opportunity comes, it's too late to prepare. So what could happen in your life tomorrow if you started getting ready today, like behind closed doors? This is the alone advantage that drives crazy success. Okay, the third habit I wanna touch on today is this. I call it wake up. This is the alone advantage that leads to mastering self-discipline. Did you know that waking up earlier can lead to massive success? You may have heard me share the story of how years ago, I love this story, of John Maxwell teaching at a conference and he agreed to do the Q&A at the end. And he said a young guy who just got an, an MBA, he was just observing everything about the conference. I like to think of it like this. There were 2,000 people in attendance who paid $2,000 each. You remember? We do the math with the pocket calculator. <laughs> 2,000 times 2,000, $4 million in one weekend. So the kid said to Maxwell, I wanna do what you do. John Maxwell said, what do you think I do? He said, you write all these best-selling books, you speak at conferences, you impact lives. He said, I wanna do that. Maxwell said, young man, it's not a matter of doing what I do. The question is, do you wanna do what I did so you can do what I do? He said, well, I wish I had a team to lead or a company or a department. He said, where do I start? Maxwell said, good question, start with you. He said, if you wouldn't follow yourself, why would anyone else want to follow you? Now, my point in sharing that is that you can't have a million dollar dream with minimum wage habits. Well, I found out that successful people have the habit of waking up earlier than everybody else. Why? To invest in themselves. I heard a success coach say, if I could come to your house and just watch you for 24 hours, I could tell whether or not you're going to be a success or a failure how in the world? He said, the reason I say that is because the secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. So during my alone time, I started waking up just a little bit earlier and listening to messages and reading books that would help me grow. Why? Because the key to success is to keep educating yourself. The most successful people in the world practice mind over mattress. Now in the new book, you're going to discover what I call the Sunday night strategy, how to plan your entire week Sunday night and the five habits that I follow every single day before breakfast. Hey, just waking up 30 minutes earlier would give you an extra 15 hours a month to work on you, to prepare for success, to hear God's voice, to get his direction for the next phase of your life. Just 30 minutes. So this is where you're going to gain an advantage. Start winning the battle of the bed and wake up. Your repetition is your reputation. Now, let me remind you that changing your life behind closed doors in your private hours, that's what leads to success in front of the crowd. That's why I call it the alone advantage. So I've been waiting a while to write this book because I am a product of my product. When I started doing these habits behind closed doors, everything in my life changed. It improved, it grew, and I'm seriously unrecognizable from who I was when I started these habits, thank God. And I'm thrilled to share with you a dream come true, the release, oh, let me tell you, the pre-release of this book hit number one on Amazon and Barnes and Noble in five categories. Now, I have never had anything like that happen for me. So I just want you to know I am grateful beyond words, and it's just proof to me that people are searching for direction from God. So I would love for you to get this book in your hands today. I know it'll help you discover God's next steps for your life. And all you need to do is just click the link in the description or go to thealoneadvantage.com, get your copy today. I know you're gonna get steps to find your purpose, get closer to God, and I'll be cheering you on to live your dreams. Whatever your unique God-given dream is, Terry Savelle Foy's new book, The Alone Advantage, reveals what successful people do in private to prepare and achieve the dreams in their heart. Discover how you can wake up with vision, live each day with purpose, and experience God's promotion in your life. As you read, you'll get the 10 behind the scenes habits that drive crazy success and receive practical, faith-filled keys to find your purpose, hear God's voice, and live your dreams. Plus, you'll also get a copy of this quality gratitude journal to record your thankfulness and keep your heart open to receive the blessings and abundance God has for you. This must-have package will transform your mind and propel you to fulfill your destiny. Call or go online today to request the Alone Advantage along with the gratitude journal, available for a limited time. 
Call toll-free at 1-800-795-5597 or visit us online at terry.com. Order now and discover your loan advantage today. 1-800-795-5597.